Well, welcome back to GIS analysis at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this session, we're going to do a service network and service area problem. And we're working with, in the Boston feature data set, we've got some proposed daycare centers. So I went to symbology and I symbolized using unique values by label and I assigned a symbol for this daycare center versus this proposed daycare center. And what we want to do is we want to know what is the network within a five minute drive and a 10 minute drive to these two proposed daycare centers. So for each street we have what the time is to travel down the length of that street. So for example, this first street, it's 0.335 minutes to travel from the beginning of the street to the ending of the street line. If we go to Boston, new network data set. So new network data set, and we could take the default. And then the feature classes that will participate in this network data set are their streets. And then we'll take next and next and ne next and our default field for determining the cost to travel down each street is the field minutes so that little d is the default so then we'll just take next 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 and finish and then we'll build our new network data set so we have our new network data set and we have our proposed daycare centers so under Network Analyst, we want new service area. So then we want to define our facilities. So if we right mouse click, load locations, our facilities are our proposed daycare center. And we're going to name them using the field label. And let's give them a different marker symbol for these different Facility. So if I right mouse click and go to properties, under symbology for the name, and then you could assign whatever symbology you want for these two locations. So then if we look at our service area properties, we can name our service area. And then under analysis setting, our impedance is going to be what is the roads within a five minute drive to each daycare center. And then let's add 10 minute drive also. And we're going to go away from each facility or towards each facility. So let's go uh, the drive towards each facility. And then under line generation, we're going to generate a service network of lines. So basically the lines representing the five minute drive and the lines representing the 10 minute drive. And then under polygon generation, we're going to generate polygons representing our service area. And then under accumulation, we can accumulate the minutes for each road. So then we have everything set up to solve the problem. So then we would solve our service area problem. So we have our service network and let's zoom in to see our service network. So these are the lines that were used to build our polygons and then we could symbolize our polygon. So let's make this within a five minute drive and then this polygon within a 10 minute drive. So we have for each proposed daycare center, the area within a five minute drive and the area within a 10 minute drive of each candidate location. If you go back to that feature data set, we have customers. So we have potential customers for our daycare centers. So what we want to know is which daycare center has more customers within a five minute drive and within a 10 minute drive. So here's our polygons representing a five minute drive. 
Let me make the outline bolder. And we'll put our points below. So how many customers are in this proposed daycare center five minute drive compared to this proposed daycare center five minute drive? So we can use the intersect tool. We'll intersect our customers with our service area polygons. So we'll intersect our candidate customers with our service area polygons. And then we'll output that back to our feature data set. So it's in the Network Lab Boston feature data set. And then just OK. So we have 605 customers within a 10 minute drive of one of those proposed daycare centers. And the first customer is closest to this daycare center, 36 Norwell Street, and it's within the five to 10 minute polygon. So if we double click to select on it, there it is. And it is inside that five to 10 minute polygon. So then we could use the frequency tool to get the total by name our input table is from the intersect output, and then we'll output our table to the same location. So these are the candidate customers. So we're going to summarize by name to get the total, and then just OK. And then we'll look at that table. So how many customers are within a 10 minute drive to this daycare center? So if we Select both rows and then statistics. So there's 402 customers that are within a 10 minute drive to this daycare center, as opposed to the other daycare center statistics. There's only 203 customers within a 10 minute drive. And then how about if we're <clears throat> just interested in a five minute drive? Well, then it would be 128 customers compared to 34 customers. So it looks like this would be a better location for a proposed new daycare center if we're basing our decision on number of potential customers within a 10 minute drive.